To another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Today we are going to have fun singing songs about dinosaurs and learning about these amazing prehistoric animals. But before we jump right in, have you ever thought what it would be like to have a dinosaur as a pet? Of course, it would have to be a friendly, helpful, and kind dinosaur. Would you take your dinosaur to school and show your friends? What fun things would you and your dinosaur do together? Let's find out what happens when a little boy dreams about having a dinosaur of his own. If I had a dinosaur... If I had a dinosaur, I wouldn't wait in line. Basketball would be a snap. Rainy days would turn out fine. A dinosaur would help with chores and pull me through the snow. He'd help me see things way up high as well as things down low. If I had a dinosaur, I'd give him all my peas. I would ride him everywhere, high above the trees, in the city, at the shore, and to the town parade. If I had a dinosaur, I'd never be afraid. Paleontologists have learned a lot about dinosaurs from fossils. Fossils help scientists learn about animals and plants that lived long ago. Fossils are the remains of these animals and plants. A fossil can be an imprint of a plant, a mold of a footprint, or even an insect preserved in hardened tree sap called amber. Some animals were preserved in other ways as well. Scientists have found animals that were frozen after falling into ice crevices. Do you want to learn more about fossils?
some dinosaurs were carnivores because they liked to eat meat. Other dinosaurs were herbivores because they liked to eat plants. Brontosaurus was an enormous dinosaur that ate plants. His name means thunder lizard. Brontosaurus weighed about 50,000 pounds and was approximately 75 feet in length. Brontosaurus had a long, thin neck, a whip-like tail, and it had small eyes that were located on the top of its head. With its heavy, bulky body, this massive dinosaur must have sounded like thunder when it roamed the earth. Let's listen to a cute story about Brontosaurus. The Happy Little Dinosaur The Happy Little Dinosaur Hatched from an egg upon the shore Brontosaurus was his name Into the ancient world he came Standing up on four thick legs He wobbled to the water's edge what he saw filled him with glee, a great long neck, as you can see. What did Bronto love to do? Find tender leaves to munch and chew. In fact, he ate all day and night to fill his great big appetite. He liked to walk about the land. The noise he made was really grand. Thunder, thunder, shake the ground. Everyone can hear his sound. Did little Bronto like to play? This much we cannot really say. But if I were a brontosaur, the game I'd play is tug of war. When Bronto lived, the earth was hot. The water was the coolest spot. So to the shallow sea he'd trot. Pronto liked to swim a lot. The sea was also where he'd go to hide from Bronto's fiercest foe. Allosaurus was his name. Eating Bronto's was his game. If Brontosaurus was on land, he'd have to stay and take a stand. Then he'd whip his great big tail and make the mean old aloe frail. But mostly if there was a stranger, mother shouted, danger, danger, chirping, squeaking off his stomp to the safety of their swamp. I think if I were a brontosaur, to eat so much would be a chore. But that is what all Brontos do. And little Bronto grew and grew. The happy little dinosaur is not so little anymore. As you can see now, Brontosaurus is simply quite enormous. Let's sing and learn about an animal that wasn't really a dinosaur, but a flying reptile. Can you guess its name? Did 
you know the Pteranodon did not have a tail? When it flew in the air, Pteranodon had to pay attention to the movements that it made with its wings and body in order to stay balanced. Now look real close and notice on my head there is a crest. Yes, it will grow to six feet long. It really is the best. I glide around the water's end. I search for lots of fish and scoop real We definitely can't forget to talk about the most well-known dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King. This meat-eating scavenger had strong back legs, huge jaws, and about 60 razor-sharp teeth that were 12 inches long. T-Rex had two tiny clawed arms and was a very smart hunter. Let's learn more about this ferocious dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus Rex, don't forget was the meanest thing Tyrant lizards, the meanest thing around. As long as two school buses, it stopped across the ground. Its teeth were sharp and jagged, a fearsome, awful sight. With jaws so huge, it could have swallowed you in just one bite. It used its tail for balance as it roamed across the land. Walking on its back legs, respect it would command. Its eyes face forward, helping it to focus on its brain. With a mighty roar, its nasty temper it would display. Tyrannosaurus Rex, don't forget, was the meanest thing around. That big bully would scare. They all ran far away And Tyrannosaurus Rex He didn't get his supper for that day It had big feet with four toes But one was turned around In fact, this backwards toe It didn't even touch the ground the Front legs were a little shorter But they had long, sharp claws they were not needed For Rex used his mighty jaws This warrior was a creature That was feared by big and small It could grow as long as 40 feet And could be 18 feet tall I'm sure it had no friends With which to run and play For most dinosaurs They knew they should stay very far i
This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime. <laughs>